bring this on down. All right, God bless y'all. All right, my name is Jonathan Ko, and I just want to um, let you all know. You know, the Bible says, "Surely, uh, the Lord He does nothing uh, unless He reveals His secrets to His servants, the prophets." Okay, so you know, He 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 doesn't He doesn't just go around, you know, just doing stuff randomly. He He lets it be known through His prophets, and um, and I just want to say, you know, His servants, whatever. Okay, His evangelists. Okay, whoever's walking in the you know the the prophetic the servants of God okay he does nothing before revealing his secrets to his servants the prophets um and I just want to share with you all that um there's there's going to be beheading in in America okay there's going to be beheadings that's going to be taking place on American soil um the Lord just uh showed me this um as I was in prayer just now I saw, um, you know, my head at least being cut off, like, you know, from this side, like they're doing uh, with these journalists in, um, overseas, and uh, expect to see this on American soil, and um, know the Lord Jesus Christ, because if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, okay, um, Yahashua, uh, if you do not know him, then, you know, you're just going to die in vain, okay? Uh, Christ, the Messiah, he is the only foundation, okay? All, there's this song that goes, it says, all other uh, ground is sinking sand, okay? So you want your foundation to be Christ. You don't, you don't, you don't want your foundation to be uh, journalism, dying in the name of journalism, you know, uh, and going out brave. You see how those guys, they got their, their chest poked out, and they're like, and they're just preparing to get their throat slit in the name of journalism, and they're brave. So you, my fellow follower of Yahashua, you can do it too. The devil is a liar. Because, because think of how uh, prosperous, and think of um the joy and, and, and um you know the awesomeness of what God has prepared for those who love him. You know what I mean? Um I wanna actually go to that scripture. Uh I wanna I wanna memorize that scripture, y'all. I wanna memorize it because that's a beautiful scripture. It says um in um uh, first Corinthians Chapter two, verses nine, says, "Uh, it says, uh, no eye, it says, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, what, what, um, what human man, mind has conceived. This is international version, version, um, the things God has prepared for those who love Him. So I really want to, um, I'm going to read the King James now. It says." But as it is written, I have not seen, uh, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. So, you know, that's a good scripture quote. And um, that's a scripture that I'm going to um, challenge myself to memorize because it will help us to, um, to, 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 to keep hold of the foresight of what God sees that we don't yet see, but that we can um, hope. We have the Bible says we have good hope, you know, um, and uh, so I just bless God, and I just want you all to know this is this there's this um this excuse me uh, beheadings coming to America, okay, on American soil, there will be beheadings coming to America. Now, might someone might say, okay, well, you know, God showed that about yourself, yes, He did, but He also spoke, and so I'm sharing this with you, okay, um. I'm just a messenger, and uh, Yeshua is Lord. All right, so be it.